Hey, and good morning. Maybe up, uh, no, morning, still morning. Uh, good morning, and I'm back in the shop, and today I am working on Doom miniatures. Uh, I actually did some recording of this last week, and uh, I wasn't entirely happy with the quality of the video, especially since my new camera, this one, uh, was on the way at the time. And so, uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to um, wait for that one to come in before I started doing more videos. So I think I may show you just a bit of that, perhaps here, um, or not. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see when this gets into editing. Um, but I did want to show you uh, the results because they look so good in the new camera and stuff. So uh, let's go let's go take a look and we'll talk a little bit about colors and stuff that I've been doing related to that and here we go. All right, so here we have the uh, mancubus and he is was he in focus? Now he is. Uh, the Mancubus is a fairly simple color scheme. He is primarily a mix of Ungor flesh and rat skin flesh, uh, which is a setup that I use for a number of the models. Uh, I actually had to go back to one of my earlier videos in order to uh, figure that out. And uh, this is part of the problem with not actually taking notes uh, while I'm doing it. I'm actually taking notes now. I have a whiteboard that I've been keeping track of uh, my various recipes on. So that is him. Oh, actually, I didn't actually mention the, uh, the rest of it. Uh, so after I do the uh, those two flesh colors uh, he gets a um, he gets a, a bath of uh, he gets a bath of Agrax Earthshade and once the Agrax Earthshade is done then I go back in uh, with a thin mix of the uh, flesh mix and you know, mixing that with Liquitex airbrush medium and then I layer it back in to bring the color back out. Uh, I gave him a lot of contrast as you can see. He goes really really dark into the recesses and then gets really brighter um, back up at the uh, upper areas. Uh, but pretty straightforward overall. He's also got some uh, red, kind of bloody red, right where the um, uh, the machine bits meet the flesh, and you know where it goes through the the hoses go through the flesh there as well. Um, I also oh so here we got there's Pinky. Uh, Pinky is pretty straightforward too. Now he starts out with uh, Emperor's Children, just all over, airbrushed on, uh, a wash of uh, Car Carolberg Crimson, uh, and then layers of both the Emperor's Children and Emperor's Children mixed with various uh, lighted layers of pink. Essentially, just the pink with uh, with white, and then I went back in and added a little bit more shade into some of the uh, some of the recesses. Let's see if we can look at his face. Grr, grr. <laughs> uh, now we got the. The Lost Soul. Now I had a little trouble with this one, um, trying to color match the one from the photo. And uh, my client, Genevieve, 
notice that there were differences between how I had this and how that photo was. And I think the, the problem was is uh, my original color on this was uh, Hammerfall Khaki, which is a P3 color. And uh, I had moved to a more ivory tone, which added a little bit of yellow, uh, which wasn't there originally. And she noted that right off. So I had to go back and add a little bit more. And I think another issue might be that uh, on the original, I think I was still using uh, the old brown wash, which was Devlin Mud, which is really a black brown mix, and Agrax Earth Shade is more of just a straight brown mix, and so I think that also added a little bit more color than was there to begin with. So I may still go back into this and add a little black uh, to kind of desaturate the brown and make it go a little darker in these uh, in these recesses here. And the flames. I like how the flames turned out. Uh, the flames start out with um, uh, Signar Yellow, another P3 color, uh, and then I use Bloodletter Glaze uh, over most of it in varying degrees because when you f your first coat of Bloodletter turns the yellow to orange and then subsequent layers uh, move more towards the red and then for the kind of cooler portion of the flame I use the Carolberg crimson and that darkens it up and makes it a little bit more uh, you know almost like it's it's getting ready to be smoky out of the back there now this guy oh, we're gonna need to back up a little bit here that is the arc vial now the arc vial starts out um, similar to the uh, uh, what is he called again? I just said it. Mancubus. So he starts out similar to the Mancubus. Um, but then instead of layering it back in with the original uh, flesh color, uh, I used Joe Sonia flesh. Um, and that's in a tube. What is it called? Skin Tone Base. Joe Sonia Skin Tone Base. It's a very, very pale flesh tone. Uh, and I actually airbrushed that on very thinly with a lot of Liquitex airbrush medium to the whole thing, uh, which kind of diffuses uh, the harsh shadows. You can kind of see the difference between the two. Uh, so it diffuses those shadows uh, and it lightens the flesh tone and it makes it much more pale, much more uh, corpse-like. Uh, and then I go back in and I hand brush in, or hand layer in, uh, highlights onto his fleshy areas. And that's done with a brush. And then I, I even lighten that up more by adding some white. And he's not done yet. So what else do we have? Oh, we've also got uh, the Caco Demon. Oh, we're a little close. Back up. There we go. Uh, and now he's just, he's a lot of reds. And again, we had another discrepancy in some of the coloration on him. And that was because uh, instead of going really sort of neutral tones in the horns. I'd add a little Agrax Earthshade, uh, which did not match the, uh, the original colors. And so I went back and put that back in order. And also on his muzzle, uh, I had used some flesh tones uh, rather than pinks and that didn't end up looking quite right either. So I went back and added some pink and some Carolberg Crimson and brought the uh, brought the shadows more in. Oh, and his eyes as well. His eye was uh, not quite as bright, and I think I've gotten that back to where it wants to be. How's our 
focus, focus. There we go. Um, oh, yeah. And then we have this gentleman. Little spider demon guy. And he... Well, he's been a bit of trouble. <laughs> uh, he's the first one I've done with the blue eyes, which I really like. I like how that's turning out. Um, and I think I didn't get enough uh, red to his brain to begin with, but I think I've got that now. Um, but otherwise, uh, pretty much as I've done these in the past. Uh, his basic flesh tone starts out again the same as the Mancubus and uh, but the part that's not brain actually goes darker um, there's not so much uh, bringing it back up uh, and then the uh, but the brain is the brains brought back up and actually goes a little lighter and then it gets a really thin wash of blood letter to give it a nice uh, brainy like uh, redness to it. So that's kind of where I am now. I mean, if you look around, you can see uh, that I have some other things in the works. And you can also see that that, uh, re that uh, flesh tone gets a lot of use on different models for different reasons. Um, but I got a lot of work today and I'm going to want to get to it and I will come back since I really haven't figured out uh, the best way to integrate this into whoops <laughs> the best way to integrate this into my work uh, schedule and I feel like I'm a little behind right now uh, I'm probably just going to do another update towards the end of the day rather than trying to do updates as I go but um, maybe we'll see um, still getting used to the camera. Hope you like it. I will talk to you in a bit. I just discovered this really nasty mold line in uh, Baron of Hell's leg. And I've used a little magic sculpt to uh, smooth it over. I mean, it was a, it was a big step, um, which represents a pretty significant uh, shift in the mold. And... Well, at this point I'm trying to uh, clean it up, uh, re-sculpt it, and then add the detail back in with a toothpick. And it seems to be going okay. It was a little disconcerting because I was getting ready to paint that base coat down there. I hate it when I discover um, flaws, especially bad flaws as I'm painting, um, because, well, for one, it means I wasn't paying close enough attention uh, before I got to that point, but also just, you know, I hate to have to repaint anything, so. Yeah, anyway, that's that's where I am at the moment. And I'm going to go do that, and then I'm going to come back. All right, gotten a little more gotten. Yeah, I got a little more work done. Um, obviously the, uh, pain elemental on the right is not quite done, but the, uh, imp on the left is pretty darn close. Uh, he has, there we go, sharpen that up. Uh, he's, I've gone over him pretty well, and I think he's just about done, but Oh, I gotta do, yeah, his base is still drying and I've got some stuff to do on that. Um, but he is otherwise pretty well set. And here, of course, is the arc vial. And he's just about done. As is the Baron of Hell. Although I think I need to go over his uh, leg fur again. Um to add a little bit more uh, variation into the tone there, but he seems pretty close to the uh, to the original. But uh, yeah, 
really like how his skin is uh, got some really nice contrast to it. Turned out really well, I think. Arc file didn't turn out badly either. Look at that. You'll have to excuse me. I'm really enjoying the uh, the camera here and uh, playing around with that. But yeah, I think uh, I think that did pretty well. I think uh, the results speak for themselves. Uh, I really like how the that flesh tone ended up working. <clears throat> But I think this is going to be it for today. I'm not, did, well, didn't end up being quite as productive as I might have hoped. Um, tomorrow, hopefully, I'll be able to uh, get through more. Perhaps I'll even finish. If I can get started early enough in the morning, that is not an unreasonable goal. So uh, with that in mind, I'm going to sign out for now. And uh, I will talk to you again later.